So we are back with our project here, our art conversion of this PowerBook G4. And so I've really been wrestling around how I'm going to do this. So basically what we're going to do, I'm going to kind of put this thing all together on this piece of particle board. I'll get it all screwed down, everything all laid out and make sure everything works. And then we're going to make it look pretty by putting it on the acrylic. Now, the acrylic backer, uh, unlike this, this is basically 3 8 of an inch thick, um, but we're going to go with a half inch thick piece of cast acrylic. The acrylic will be flame polished on the edge, all nice and polished up. The corners are going to be rounded, and it should look pretty good. So basically, we're going to be looking, I think the final results are, as far as the length of it, is going to be roughly about 2 feet or 68 centimeters long. So, and in terms of the width of it, I think we're going to stay with the same width. We're about, we're just going to call it 18 inches or in millimeter, centimeter terms, uh, or in centimeter terms, it's going to be 40, not quite 46 centimeters, about 45 and a half centimeters. So yeah, that's going to be kind of the final dimension of it. But my other problem was, is how am I going to attach this? And I just want to thank PCB Way because they can do all kinds of stuff for you, like this. They offer a variety of services like PCB prototyping, PCB assembly, Flex Rigid Flex PCB, CNC machining, 3D printing, offering you the best value, fast turnaround, one-on-one -on -one assistance, truly a one-stop solution for PCB and assembly. So go to PCBWay.com and see what they can do for you. Like I said, I'm going to have them make some 3D parts for me, and hopefully they can do it in the clear color. I haven't asked them about that yet. I know they can do a lot of different colors. We'll just see if they can do it in the clear. That would be great. Just these, of all things, if anybody's worked on sprinkler systems, on a drip system, there's all kinds of assorted little plastic parts here. And this is what we're going to be uh, using here. Now, this stuff cuts very easily, but the nice thing about it is it's hollow. So it'll be real easy for me to run a screw through it. So I've already kind of cut one down here. And you can see it a little bit better there. And they cut pretty easy. I'll just file it so it's a little bit more flatter. But what my idea is, is I want to lift this thing up off the acrylic. Uh, a couple reasons. Um, number one, if I have to run any wires for lighting and so forth, that'll solve that problem. And the other two will be heat dissipation for this guy because I really don't want that heat sink laying right on top of that acrylic. I don't want it to, to melt it or anything if it gets real warm. So what we're going to do, now this is where the battery would go. And also if I lift this up, I should actually be able to put the battery in it too, which I think would be pretty cool. Uh, the barrel charger is going to be on this side. I'll route the cord so it looks really nice. But what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, this is going to get lifted up here, so say like that. Okay, so there's the, the height of it there. So what we have to do is we have to even everything up here. So if we go over here, we're going to uh, lift this up over here. And like I said, all this is going to get screwed down here. And this is going to go right here on this one here and like i said this is just really rough okay so that kind of gives you the height that it's going to be off the ground here but it'll all be supported i'll have lots of connectors uh, so we can actually screw this down there'll be a screw that goes down through that that'll go down through the cut portion of this and it'll go into the acrylic but uh this, for our terms, uh, it's going to go down into the uh, press wood here. We have to lay all this stuff out, 
get everything. There will be supports here so this all gets screwed down so that way when we plug stuff in it, it won't be wobbling around. That way we can route all the wires. That looks pretty good. We have the antennas up here, which they will get uh, nice and oriented so they'll look nice. We have the video cable. Again, that's all going to be nice. There's the inverter board there. So yeah, it's going to look pretty good when it's all done. And my goal is I'm going to do some type of lighting on this. So of course we will have our Apple logo. I have several of these. We're going to repurpose these. And we're going to have some get some uh, creative lighting going on here. With the beauty of the acrylic is all that's going to transmit right through the plastic there. So that would be really nice. It's going to look nice and pretty. Pretty is good. And these are the speakers. We've got to get these all laid out, screwed down. So that's what I got to do next. So what I have to do is I have to get some screws that will go down all the way through there. And I'm going to pick those up this weekend, get those. And that way we can actually start bolting this thing down, get it all laid out, everything laid out just like it's going to be permanently, get it all hooked up. The last big hurdle that we're going to do is the keyboard. I have been going crazy trying to figure out how we're going to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with the full size keyboard for this. This is backlit and it is going to go right about there. Now the problem is, is I don't want this thing in that position all the time because when you have it on the wall this would be kind of awkward. So I'm going to get a clear acrylic piano hinge. This will be up uh, kind of like that and then when we're not using it it will lay down. Now the, the, the uh, keyboard cable and the backlight cable will reach. I have to put this in a certain position. It will not hurt them. Once I get this mounted permanently, it'll be able to swing open without putting tension on those cables. But that way, this will make it nice for storage. Uh, I mean, you can still type on it laying down like that if you wanted to. So that's where the other thing comes in is then I'm gonna have some brackets made. I'm just gonna set this down there just for a second. I'm gonna have some brackets made so that way, when it's up like this, it'll be supported. And then we'll be able to move them and we'll be able to close it just like that. That is the goal. I think that's gonna look pretty good. That's a good solution. And when it's up in the position, it'll be nice and firm because this is all gonna be anchored. That's gonna be the hinge point. And this, this is pretty rigid already, this uh, keyboard. It's very rigid, so that, that works in our favor. And like I said, we'll have, um, let's zoom out here. We will have things here uh, on that part. Now it's probably gonna be 3D printed and I'm gonna have PCB Way do that for me. I just have to give them the final drawings as far as the draft and the measurements and all that. And I want to get it done and clear. I want to keep those clear too, because I want to keep the aesthetics of it clear. But I think that is really going to look good, so that gives us complete functionality. We'll have the backlight, trackpad, the buttons on the mouse here, on the trackpad rather. And like I said, this keyboard is really nice. I did, this didn't really want to mess it up. There's a, there's one this one little one little light scratch right there. Other than that, this board is flawless. So yeah, so I think that's gonna work out really nice. What we're gonna to do too is we are going to go with a M SATA drive. I've got one of those ordered and that's gonna go right in there. And then it's gonna live right in there and that's gonna be a nice solution. So that way we don't have to have a spinner drive. We'll have a nice uh, solid state drive in it and that'll work. You know, a regular solid state drive, I usually use crucial drives with that case on it, it won't fit. Now, maybe it would, but you still have to put that weird adapter on it. So I don't want to have to do that. So we're going to get the M SATA, so that way it just puts right in there just like that. And I think that's going to look pretty nice. The optical drive does work on this. Like I said, this is a functioning PowerBook G4. The screen is a really nice shape. And what I do when I'm not using it, 
in terms of while well, it's sitting out here on the bench is I just covered it when I'm not messing with it. I just covered up with that so that way it does not get any screen damage on it. But I can hardly wait to get all this stuff put together. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a multi-part video because I'm just coming up with the ideas how to put this thing together. But I'm 99% sure this is going to be the full size, the dimension. I don't think I need to add anything. But when I get it all bolted down, that will tell me uh, if I need to increase the overall size of this or not. But I think we're going to be fine. But that is what we're going to do. And the other thing, too, on this is on the monitor here. And I got to be really careful. Is that uh, you know we have the backlight on this thing, and I want to. That's another reason why I wanted this raised up a little bit. That way I can work with the backlight a little bit because that's going to come on when the machine comes on. I think that's going to look pretty good. And i got to be really careful of these wires because I don't want to... That's why I want to get this thing uh, nailed down here, so to speak. And that way we can uh, get this thing working. Once I get all the bugs out of it, that would be great. Plus, we're also going to have the airport card in there, too. Uh, we have the cable for it right here. This is the uh, bracket. And I got to get this thing screwed down in order to get this anchored down because there'll be mounts that goes through there so I can put the airport card in there. So that'd be pretty cool. And I even have the RAM door. I'll probably put that on there too just for aesthetics for the RAM on the back side of it. Now one thing I'm not sure of is if I'm going to get it totally clear or if I want them to frost the back of it. That's, that's what I'm thinking about because there's pros and cons to that. The pro of it is you can see completely through it, but whatever the wall or surface you have on it, you're going to see that too. So my other thought was, well, if I frost the back of it, I'll still get light transmittance through it because we're going to get it through the edges and everything. Uh, and that way, if you got it on some weird looking wall or something like that, you're not going to see the wall so much because it's frosted on the back. And this is the uh, barrel charger that's for this machine. And like I said, uh, we're going to reroute the wires up here. So it's going to be up here. We'll have this look really nice. We're going to have this looking really good when it's all done. It's going to be first class, one of a kind. And I just... And hardly wait to get this thing all put together and show it to everybody because I think everybody's going to think it's pretty cool too. And like I said, I'm not destroying this machine, just basically just reconfiguring the parts. But we're going to do it a little bit differently as far as we display it. Here's the Bluetooth card right here. And that has to get secured down too on the board like that because the ribbon cable goes right underneath there, hooks to it there. So I think we are in good shape. We're just, as a matter of just bolting it down, getting all the parts laid out. And so the next time you see this, uh, we're gonna be relatively close to our final pre-design here. Like I said, I will not order that uh, acrylic panel until I know 100% that the way that we're doing it's going to work. And the way this will be displayed, it's going to be on the wall. So, like I said, the keyboard will be flipped up so you can type on it. But when it's not in use, it'll fold down. And that way, uh, less chance of somebody breaking it or something. But it just, it just looked better that way. It'll look kind of funny if it's up all the time like that. The screen's going to be non-positional because this is going to be on the wall anyway. So we're not going to worry about the positioning on that. And this whole thing's probably, when it's all done, it's probably going to weigh about 20 pounds maybe because uh, that acrylic's rather heavy when it's that big and that thick. But that's fine. It'll hang on the wall just 
fine. And that's the other thing I'm going to figure out too, is how do I want to hang it on the wall? Do I just want to do something really simple and hang it? Or do I want to get something that's really nice and high tech and hook it on the wall? Like maybe a magnetic mount or something like that. I might do that. That might be pretty cool. It's where you basically put the magnets on the wall. You put the receiver magnets on the other side and it sticks right on her just like that. It's very strong. So that's pretty much what I have for you right now. So please like this video. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe and click that notification bell. We're also on Twitter and we're on MeWe. You can reach out to me there. And until the next video, you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.